say goodbye to the black magic of meats that are somehow over. Uh -oh. <laughs> Honestly, the, the moment that we were fully sold on the woodwind was when we actually got our hands on the grill. I drove this grill right here down to the Harmon Brothers offices. Right there on the spot, they fired it up. And the food that was coming off the woodwind was just like, oh my gosh, it was so good. Hey, man. Oh yeah, look at that thing cut. <laughs> We have got to do, you know, we've got a market for these guys. This is just such a great product. Because Grill Car loves you. Kind of way wrong. <laughs> we got a chance to, to cook on it. I've never tasted better ribs. The first time they made ribs on this thing, we had a bunch of people over, so I was very nervous. I was like, okay, here it is. This is literally the first time I've ever cooked ribs, and everyone was like, oh my gosh. Mm hmm. My mother-in-law, who's an Idaho native, her cousin has a cattle farm, and we made burgers for the first time on the woodwind with her. She took a bite of it and she said, I think this is the best hamburger I've ever had in my life. And she's like, why is it so juicy? But it's, it's legit, it really is, it's like cheating. And maybe it is, but for these ribs, Grill God forgives you. You know, there's actually a lot of other wood pellet grills in the market, but there are two features that really sold us on it. The first was a sear box. There really is no other wood pellet grill on the market that can sear the way that the woodwind does. It gives you that caramelized crust. It gives you that amazing outer contrast to that inner juicy goodness. Caramelized by Capture. Yeah, you can get the nice smoky flavor in there, but yet you can get the real heat in there too. That's great. The second thing that sold us was the ash cleanout system. Anyone that's ever used a wood pellet grill before knows how nasty cleaning out the ash can be. So you pay them so you can do another weekly chore? Say what? The Woodwind Ash Cleanout System makes it a lot easier to keep your grill nice and clean and not tasting like ash. That cup that you can just pull it out and dump it. Easy is just the name of the game for me. It's so easy. No, I'm going to go to the top. So Johnny, one of one of our riders, came with this incredible idea of a grill god. He can instruct you while not also seeming condescending. Bless you, heart, child. That's not your thing. <laughs> The Grill God really kind of lets us know, you know, you don't have to be this chef. You can just fast forward in your progression as a cook just because it levels the playing field that much. Hallelujah! I want, how you want it? <laughs> I wanted to pay homage to the roots of barbecue, and that's in the South. Those barbecue capitals of the world. Oh, I spent a number of years living in the Southeast, and, you know, it was fun that we were able to find an actor that was truly a Southern guy, understood great barbecue and loved and had a passion for barbecue. Oh yeah, probably two or three days a week. All the barbecue places I go to, I can walk in, they know what I want. They know the cut of meat I want and how I like it. He was really the genuine article. How could you not cast him? Kind of late in the game, we had this idea of how the grill guy gets introduced in the video. Putting JW up on the riser was a little nerve-wracking. Is, is that high enough? Well, I guess it's all good. That's free. above the grill. I'll, I'll fall okay. off a so horse. That grill. was scary. I did rodeo. I rode bareback horses since I was 15. That ground is harder <laughs> when you fall off a horse, but I try not to. He was a great sport about it, and you know everything went off kind of without a hitch. It's fun to see the grill god kind of come to life and his personality be brought out more and more. He was just so much fun to work with. I feel like when we were talking about the grill god that JW just appeared. I said, this is my script. He was a perfect fit for the part. You all right, JW? Yes, sir. <laughs> Got it. Got it. <laughs> with a product like the Woodwind that takes food and makes it so much better and so much juicier and so much more delicious, I feel like we had to get really great shots of the food that looked out of this world. It really is like a second character in the script. We really wanted to convey the magic that happens with the Woodwind on film. The filming of the food has to do justice to how savory it makes it, how flavorful, how juicy. And so what we did is we actually got Simon from the UK to come. He is an incredible food cinematographer. He was able to come in and capture that magic of what the woodwind really does to your food. <laughs> Anybody who's done traditional wood cooking, it really is difficult. And this just makes it come to reality for a whole bunch of people who don't have 16 hours to spend babysitting cooking a brisket. We feel like the woodwind has brought those features and benefits together that makes any backyard chef really a professional chef. What we really hope is when people see the video, they'll understand you don't have to be a great chef to get great flavor, right? If you've got a tool like the woodwind. I just say, buy it. I don't think you can uh, find anything better anywhere. It's just that much better than everything else out there. I'm supposed to have one delivered on Monday. I'm going to have something on them by Tuesday. <laughs>